welcome back to another video. I know, I know what you're saying, man, it's been forever. Why haven't you made a video? Some of you thought I was dead, but I'm not. I'm alive. The IS-300 is still here. It's not been crashed. It runs, guys. So yeah, I'm super excited because as you guys already know, I'm running spacers on the IS-300. I'm installing, but I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep them on the car. I still don't know if they're even gonna clear the fender on this side if it's gonna be any rubbing issues but if so i might have to roll the fenders so anyways i'm gonna install these spacers they're about they're actually almost an inch they're exactly uh, 20 millimeters so about three quarters of an inch or so but yeah they're forged by ksp so not too bad roughly about 100 bucks so we'll see how it's gonna clear we'll see how they look and then I'll drive them, I'll give you guys the review and I'll tell you if I like them or not, how it actually feels. Because here's one thing you have to know. If you guys are running, running spacers, the more wider you go, the more danger or the higher the risk, the potential of damaging more components. Well, essentially what you're doing, the engineering, the suspension of the car is... It's completely designed for a certain suspension ratio. Wait, well, you know what I'm saying, a certain... Yeah, no, I can't explain it, but it's very complicated. I did some research on this and essentially the more you extend out, you're just mixing up with the design of the engineering suspension. Yeah, I guess we could say that. And if it's manageable and if it's okay with the turns and the launches and the turn outs and the, blah, well then yeah, I'll probably keep it and seeing how it looks, but I don't know. I still don't know. I never thought I'd be installing spacers, but here I go. I think the best way to do it is always getting a larger wheel or a wheel that just extends out that way it looks a lot more cleaner you don't have to worry about spacers or any noise but these spacers have a hub center ring it's a 60.1 hub center bore which is going to help the wheel stay balanced and the ice 300 is 60.1 so every car is going to have their unique size On certain wheels you have a spacing right here which is for the stud I don't know if you guys can see that too well you see how it's cut out this wheel doesn't they're both Motegis you see but they're just different wheels but I like them that way so on the other side you are going to hit on these studs if the uh, spacer is not uh, big enough but eventually I'm just going to drill these out it shouldn't be too difficult oh Guys, tell me that doesn't look good. Sticking out. That looks real good. Could have been like a good inch sticking out. Same thing with the back. Oh, I love it. Love it. I might have to roll the fenders. What do you guys think? Like any small little bump. There it is. Any small little bump. Any random little rock. I could feel it. Oh man. Oh, guys, yeah, it's definitely rubbing. I roll, I roll down the windows so you guys can maybe hear it better. But I'm just gonna take a turn. Let's just hear it. One turn. Yeah, it's rubbing. 
front, back, rear, I mean, all sides are rubbing. And I knew this was gonna happen, so I have two options. I could either raise up the height of the coilovers or I could roll the fenders right here. So I don't know yet. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do. But anyway, that's how you put spacers on your IS300 on any car. It's just pretty simple. I just, I haven't decided if I'm gonna roll the fenders or rise up the height. So I could really do some testing and find out if I do like the spacers. So I don't know, we'll have an update on the video guys. Till then, we'll see you on the next video. Oh.